We are still talking about this restaurant two months later. Stick around to find out why. Welcome back to Midnight Pride. My name is Chris. And I'm Catherine. And tonight we are going to Haleo for the very first time here at the Cosmo. Not sure what we're gonna get yet. Depends on what is on the tasting menu, but we may just also order a bunch of stuff. So looking forward to this. We hope it's really good. Well, we've been sat at our table and we have a lot of decisions to make. We did look at the menu before we got here. I could not find very much information about the tasting menu at all online, so it was really important that we got that information to you. And we will put up on the screen what five courses includes on the tasting menu. There are five courses. The wines that you can get for an additional $45, they're gonna be one for each course. You can split it if there's two people, but keep in mind that the items on the tasting menu are gonna be much smaller than the items that you order a la carte. She gave us an example, one item that if you ordered off the menu would be six pieces, on the tasting menu it would be two. But it did sound like every, at least everything would have two pieces. The salad is maybe half of a portion, the soup, little less than half a portion. At least now, you know what's on it. This is the first course on the tasting menu. It's the gazpacho and the pan de cristal con tomate. Guys, I'm not gonna try to pronounce the names of this stuff. Chris will put up the real words on the screen. And the wine. So the wine is supposed to go with both of these items. I'm gonna try the little toast with tomato and cheese. It's really flavorful. I was not expecting it to be cold. I thought the toast would be kind of warm, but it's really good. Yeah, I'm gonna try a little bit of wine with that. First of all, the wine after that toast, it's like a flavor explosion in your mouth. It's delicious, a really, really good pairing. This gazpacho is not like anything I've ever had. It's made with beets. I mean, I don't even know how to explain it other than it's amazing. Yeah, you're just gonna have to try it for yourself, but trust me, you don't wanna miss this one. But it's really good and fresh. It's got a really good flavor. Very good combination. The waitress said that the tasting menu should stay pretty consistent year round, except for some seasonal items like the gazpacho that we had. You might come when beets are not in season, and so they will have their traditional, just regular gazpacho. I don't think you could probably go wrong either way, but if you can get here when the beets one is in season, oh yeah, yum. Second course is the traditional Spanish chicken fritters and the endives with goat cheese. And the wine is, um, I think she said it was a sparkling wine from Spain. So let me try the chicken fritters first. Oh. Ooh. Honestly, I did not think I would like these at all, but it is soft on the inside and very creamy. It's almost like a chicken pot pie inside there. Very delicious. With a little bit of the wine. Wow, that, it actually tames the wine a little bit, I think, which is interesting. It gives it a whole new flavor. So, and also as part of this course, we have this endive thingy 
with uh, goat cheese and other things. Mm. Oh yeah, that's delicious. With the orange and the nuts and the goat cheese. Oh. Yeah, it's good. Yep. Wine goes just right with it. So the third course is going to be a salad, and you have your choice of two of them. The one we got was the shaved fennel and apple salad with manchego, cheese, and walnuts. And the other option is sautéed spinach with rum-soaked apricots and raisins, pine nuts, and apples. So, come back, walnut. Mm. Ooh, that piece is good. It's different. I don't know how to explain it or describe it, but it's really good and refreshing. Oh, ooh. Yeah, that brings something out in it, kind of like a pear flavor. Um, Yeah, another great combination. They know how to pair wine with food. So with your fourth course, you have a choice of either steak or shrimp. Uh, we selected the steak from the tasting menu, but actually ordered the shrimp a la carte, but the steak came out first. Yeah, that's delicious. And it also has like, these peppers and things with it. I like it with the peppers in the sauce, but really, you don't need it. Just the steak itself is really, really good. And the wine goes really well. This is your other option for your fourth course with the tasting menu, and that's the shrimp with sauteed garlic, I believe. Now, I don't know if you get the bread, um, if it's on the tasting menu, but for sure, I think you get, let's see, we have seven shrimp. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there are seven shrimp here because we ordered it a la carte. But if you get this with the tasting menu, you may only get four or five shrimp. So just keep that in mind. Mm. Yeah, those are delicious. Um, the wine will not change. It'll be the same whether you get the steak or the shrimp. And honestly, I like the pairing better with the shrimp. Actually, we've just confirmed and you do get the bread because that's what you need to soak up all this deliciousness. Now, in addition to the shrimp, we also ordered the fried bacon wrapped dates a la carte. So, give these a shot. So they're really rich, really good. Definitely not my favorite thing we got here. Another a la carte item that we got is the sobrasada sandwich. I think it's soaked in some kind of honey. Yum. I'm guessing that's ham. And it is really good. It's just like a really good ham and cheese pressed sandwich with honey on it. Yeah, I like that a lot. The dessert with the tasting menu is their fun.
Not like any fun I've had before. That is really good. And the wine goes really good with it. Go figure. Now, like we said, it has been about two months since we had our experience at Haleo. And the reason why we're still talking about it two months later is because of how great the food was. And that is the mark of a great restaurant for us. With dishes like the gazpacho and the endives in particular, there have been days when we are just craving that stuff. So we really loved our experience at Haleo. The service was excellent. They answered all of our questions. Now, one thing to note though, especially with the tasting menu, if you are on a schedule, just let them know ahead of time. They will be more than happy to space out the entrees based on your schedule. Yeah, so if you do have a show to get to later on in the evening, we went like very first thing, right when they first opened. But if you're catching a seven o'clock show or a nine o'clock show, maybe tell them up front that you have a show to get to. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that little notification bell so that you know every time we release a new video. And we will see you on the next episode of The Midnight Friday.